Hello Year 6, welcome to this week's computing lesson. So most people think I'm mad for trying to do a computing lesson with you remotely. I think we can do it. Let's show them that we can, shall we? So we are going to be doing a bit of coding today. So, so far in computing, we did a little bit of uh, blogging uh, before the Christmas. We did quite a load of online safety stuff. And today we are looking at coding. So to help you do that, we're going to go into my screen and then you can hopefully work out some stuff and have a go at creating your own little mini games. Let's go. So once you have logged into Dojo, you'll be met with a screen that looks like this. I'm uh, imagining that I'm Iron Alley today. Unlucky I am, that's what you get for being the top of the register. And over here, there'll be the alerts. If you click on the alerts, you will have Free Code Gorilla creating a game. That is what you are going to click on, okay? Do not just do it by searching for Free Code, Free Code Gorilla in here, because if you do that, it won't save it in the right place. So make sure you go in through your alerts and then go to. Now, I'm not going to go into it because then it will save it, excuse me. <coughs> we'll save it as I am, and I don't want to be iron, so I'm just going to go in as me. So, you are going to Free Code Gorilla using that alert. I'm not going to do that just because I am uh, I'm, I'm going in a different way, but you're going to go in through the alerts, okay? Please make sure you do that. We're struggling. Come on, internet, we can do this. to be really struggling. Are you gonna let me? Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, we're in. So like I said, you are going in through the alerts, not through this way. I've said that four times, hopefully that's enough. So when you get into Free Code Gorilla, you're getting something like this. Now we need to understand a little bit about what coding actually is. Okay, so coding is just really giving instructions. Obviously, if I was giving instructions to you, I would use sentences. Now, because it's a computer, it doesn't really work in sentences. It uses algorithms, which are like, like instructions. Now, Purple Mash has set it out so that these algorithms look like a bit more English to us. I'm gonna show you what they actually look like in a minute by pressing the C code, and it's all in these strange, strange languages but to, uh, to Pepper Mash to put it in a way that makes slightly more sense. So we have different options. So we've got outputs about things that it can show. We've got inputs, we've got controllers, we've got events, we've got variables and we've got objects. Now the first thing that I'm gonna want you to do, and like I've said always, you can pause this and have a go and then come back to it, pause it, have a go, come back to it, is you're gonna go into design. And in the design, we can choose what objects we're going to have in our little game. We can also choose which background we're going to do. So the first thing you want to do is click on this background button down here. And uh, you are going to choose uh, a different background. So I want an image. So I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to change it to a beach. So straight away my background is something more exciting. And then characters wise, I'm going to click on character and I'm going to put a character in there. I'm quite happy with her. And then I'm going to put an object in there. But I don't want an apple. So if I don't want an apple, what I can do is come over here and uh, click on that image and change it to something. So let's see what options we've got. Uh, can I change it to a flag? Mm, no, I don't really want those flags. What about change it to some kind of... Uh, let's see, a football here. Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. Some kind of ball. Yeah, we'll throw a football in there. And then I'm gonna throw an animal in there as well. That dog is fine. And then I might throw, oh no, I don't want that. I'm gonna throw another animal in there, but I'm gonna change that animal to something different. So I'll click on this image bit down here, and then I can change it to, let's see what we've got, what we've we got, what we've we got. Snake? No, a snake's a bit scary. For the beach? Actually, no, yeah, let's go for a snake. So I'm gonna have a snake in there. So now I've got four different objects. So I've designed what my thing is gonna look like. I now go to exit design up here, and that's gonna take me back to my coding screen. And you notice that my objects have come in here. 
So, what we need to do in here, we need to decide that when something happens, something's going to happen. So we're going to use these events. So to start off with, I'm going to go quite simple. And I'm going to say when something's clicked. So what that is saying is, when this thing is clicked, okay? So I'm going to say that when my character is clicked, now I need to get them to do something, okay? So when my character is clicked, so I'm going to click in this box, and then I'm going to say that that character is going to do something. So I drag that object over here, okay? And when I click my character, my character, so that's when, when I click my character, my character is going to move to the right. And I'm going to stop there. Now let's press play. So I've got all my objects in my place. And when I click on this character, hopefully, if I've done it right, it will move to the right. And it has. Okay? That's step one. So there's a success criteria that's on here. What you must be able to do in this session is add some different objects and get them to perform some different actions. So I've done that for one thing. Then you're going to add some sound to your game if you should, and we could add some text boxes to your game. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back to the screen. So I know that when I click that character, it's doing that. Now I'm going to say, when I press the, and I'm going to tap the space bar, I want uh, my football to go up into the air. So I'll press play. So if I press my space bar, going in with the space bar, my football's going up and it's going to keep on going up and up and up and up and up. Okay. And now what I need to do really, because I want to be able to stop it. So I need to go back into my instructions. So when I key in, let's say down on my keyboard, I want my football I'm going to drag in the object over here to stop. Let's go into play. So if I press the space up, my football is going to go up. And then if I press down, my football stops moving. Still, if I click this lady, she's going to go right. And click space, my football goes up. Press down, my football stops. So I've got a few different things in there. So I'm going to press stop. And now I want something that my animal is going to do. So let's say that when I click on my snake, my snake, so when I click my snake, my snake is going to speak. And it's going to say hi for three seconds. Let's see what happens. So when I click my snake, it says hi for three seconds. And then it'll disappear. Space bar is still gonna set that off. Pressing down is still gonna stop it. Clicking on my lady is still gonna make her move right. And then finally, the other one that I was talking about was getting some sound in there. So if I say, when I click on my dog, oh, hang on. When I click the dog, the dog is going to let me put sound in there. So when I click, oh, that's right, I need to delete that bit at the bottom. So let's just drag that bit out. So my dog is going to, let's see what the options are. Okay, it's going to make it sound like a sheep for a little bit. So, when I click my dog, it's going to sound like a sheep just once. Let's go into it. So let's see. Click that, that's saying hi. Press space, that's going up in the air. Press down, it stops. Press this, it's moving to the right. And then when I press my dog, it makes a sound. Now I have just organised this into a crazy game that doesn't really make any sense. I'm going to stop teaching there. But what I want you to do is have a go at this kind of thing. Now, when we were talking about algorithms before, like I said, Purple Mass sets it out in a way that makes sense. This is what it would actually look like in the real world, which is a far more scary prospect. So keep make sure you press edit blocks, okay? 
The design button over here is where you can choose what's going on in it. But you're going to exit the design and this is the screen that you're going to use to give commands. Now I know that some people have started to try and give commands in this bit. Don't do that, okay? Because that's when things go wrong. So always press the stop button and always give commands in here. As always with this video, one of the perks is that you can pause it, go back, see what I've pressed and get there. So year six, what I want you to do is you must add some different objects and get them to perform some different actions. So moving or getting bigger or smaller. You should be able to add some sound to your little game and you could add some text boxes to your little game. This is just an opportunity for you to show off what you can do in Purple Mash using Free Gorilla. Okay, uh, obviously you can keep that up. And year six, work hard. And uh, Melee, here's my slogan. I look forward to seeing you in our next crazy competitive cracking competing session. Goodbye.